Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we're back with another slime video. We are back from Comic-Con, we are back from my local brew fest, and dear lord my legs hurt. I have not walked, like, I have not walked that much in actual years, because no con was open during COVID, and, uh, I am kind of out of shape, because all I do is sit in this chair. So yeah, my legs are sore. Every time I stand up, they're kind of like a jelly. But, we have a slime video finally, and we have a news update, because it is, <laughs> it is Sunday at 7 p.m., and things that I expected to be in the game were not uh, yet in the game, so I have only a real one expectation from this 823 new content update. Um, whatever the 300th day of service thing is going to go on, um, we do have a little bit of leaks on it, but they are unconfirmed, so I don't want to throw them in here just yet. But, you know, if it's here, then it's here. And then I also expect Jubilee Catalyst. The very last Jubilee that will be in this current format before they switch it up for the whatever they're going to do next, next month. So, preview 823, new content info, Jubilee. Alright, against Benny Maru. A new event is coming Tuesday, which is Monday at 7pm my time. And that's it. Okay, well, we didn't even get the uh, 300 day of service stuff. So, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll go find it and I'll talk about it. But, hey, Catalyst, yay. 600 crystals, yay. If you can score highly, yay. Uh, this will be the last cat. Well, this will be... Yeah, I guess this will be the last Catalyst that I truly, truly try hard in because I have all the meta units. Hopefully their revamp makes it so you don't need to summon for every single freaking unit in a month for you to actually be competitive, uh, but again, we shall see. So let me go find those leaks real fast and we'll be right back. All right, I found the information that I was pinged in my Discord from. This is from a Chinese or Japanese server. Uh, the kanji looks Japanese, but you know, that I don't actually know, so don't quote me on that. Uh, but this was data mined or leaked somehow. So this says that on 8:23 we get the 300th day, 300th diary quest. So that'll be tomorrow. And on the 29th we get challenge with everyone. Rimuru is the best in the world. So we don't get that until. Oh, I think that's a. Uh, that's the next meta. Okay, so the 29th is the next meta, is what I'm assuming. Challenge with everyone. Rimuru is the best in the world. I have no idea what that's going to be, what kind of... We know it's going to be space. So, space, world, eh, I guess that makes sense. Uh, we also have them data mining the details for the Benny Maru Jubilee boss. Physical resistance down and not magic when the entire meta they've dropped for water is magic damage is very interesting. Uh, it means... I don't know what that means, actually. I guess they're trying to nerf it down, so... If you don't have Hanada, you can use Soe, I guess? That's, I, I don't know the reasoning behind that. But it looks like he nerfs greens and oranges, has pierce resistance, gives himself alt gauge, has guard and defense and fire attack up, so he should be relatively tanky boy. So there's that. But then we also have this data mine. So on the 23rd, the th release 300 Diary Scout and this is going to be a banner, a scout. And it's going to have headliners of Masked Hero, Earth Lumi, Earth Benny Maru, Water Velzard, Water Alice, and Light Leon. And then for protection units, it's going to have Hakuro and Soka. So this is actually a very good banner because the hero is here. You know, we've always I've always talked about how good the masked hero is as a unit. Probably still the best unit in the game as far as what she can do for your team. And they're very heavily trying to replace her on metas, giving people additional ways to crit and trying to phase her out, but it's it's not working. <laughs> you can still run the hero anywhere. But her being here for people who missed her or who started playing after the space meta is big. And then Earth Lumi, still very, still the best Earth DPS. 
Uh, Earth Betty Maru is the orb stealer for the or Earth team, so if you don't have um, Earth Betty Maru or Light Daggerel, you don't have an orb stealer, he could come in handy. Uh, Velzard is Velzard, you know, she was the old water DPS. She still puts up reasonable numbers. Uh, Alice, I, ew, I think, is the weakest option on this side because even Light Leon has very has a very good Light 2.0 team to fit on. Uh, Alice, I don't know, giving Pierce. The new water meta doesn't focus on Pierce at all, and she's orb changing out of blues and. Water 2.0 is much better than Water 1.0. Uh, there's also going to be a quest where you can hopefully, hopefully, quote unquote, get 300 crystals for 300 days of service. We'll see how, <laughs> if that comes to fruition. And then, yeah, an 829 challenge with everyone, Reamer's Best in the World, is probably the start of the next meta. So, there's that. Alright, so we've got. Uh, upcoming banner tomorrow and Jubilee. So let me know in the comments below what you would like to see out of their reformatted Jubilee. I want to get some opinions that way I can make a video on you know what people want to see and I could kind of do like a reaction to it I guess for sorts to see how ridiculous people are gonna get with what their wants are. Uh, 10,000 crystals for top placement I don't know something like that. Be crazy. I mean, we literally know nothing about what they're going to do with this next Jubilee. Their Twitter does say that there will be a live stream at the end of August, which it's getting close to the end of August, but you know, we still have like a week and change to go. Uh, so we'll figure out what the next meta is on most likely the 29th or somewhere around there. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, no face cam today because it's hot as balls up here, and I am not properly dressed for YouTube, so sorry about that. <laughs> but that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.